Who's there? My stun gun is fully charged, and I've got an itchy trigger finger and an itchy scalp. But that's eczema, and frankly, none of your business. I know you're there. I can hear you. I've got you surrounded. Assume the position. I'm afraid I'm going to have to ask you to leave. This is a restricted area. No quadrupeds past 6 p.m. I used to own this town. Now it's all turned upside down. I wish I could be. I'm a pretty stubborn guy. I think most people would just give up trying to date the girl of their dreams if they got turned into a werewolf. Not me. I'm like Wiley Coyote chasing the Roadrunner. I just don't give up. Hey, Stace. Hi. Hey, you want to go to the factory tonight? Um, I, I can't. I have cheerleading practice. Okay, tomorrow night, Dan. You know, maybe Tommy, we can... Tommy, I just don't think this is working out. Um, I really like you. It's just that, well, don't you think that it would be better if we were just friends? No. No! Yeah, yeah. That, that'll probably work. Yeah, well, see you later. <sighs> friends. She said she just wants to be friends. Ah, the familiar stench of rejection. Don't worry, you'll get used to it. How? It's all a matter of experience. Let me give you a little demonstration. Oh, hey, Debbie. How about you and me, you know, maybe dream on, loser? See? After years of intense conditioning, I don't feel a thing. Yeah, but this isn't just ordinary rejection, Merton. This is rejection by the girl of my dreams. I mean, I can't even look at other girls without having... I believe the technical term is... Yowza! Oh, dude, who is that girl? Class, say hello to our new foreign exchange student, Carole La Severi. It's Carole Lefebvre. Whatever, dear. Uh, Carole uh, needs a lab partner. Do I have a volunteer? It's too bad we're partnered up, because she... I need a partner. <laughs> Thank you, Tommy Dawkins. <sighs> oh, 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 looks like we have an odd man out. We need a partner, Miss Gristle. Check your oil. Yes? Merton, why don't you work with Tim and Travis? You can help them with their oral presentation on primitive life forms this Friday. Oh, that shouldn't be too hard. All they have to do is show up. <laughs> Hi, I'm Tommy. I'll be, uh, well, I'll be dissecting your mouse this morning. <laughs> you are very funny, Tommy. You have a certain, uh, je ne sais quoi. Yeah. Yeah, I know exactly what you mean, yeah. <laughs> hey, uh, what, what, what does je ne sais quoi mean? I don't know what. Uh, you don't know either, huh? I know what it means. So tell me. I don't know what. Would you make up your mind? My, just forget about it. Why don't you stand here and watch the Dockinator in action? Hey, yeah. hey Dingle, ready to help us with our presentation? I never agreed to that. Actually, I'm pursuing a solo project. Look, don't let us down, Dingle. You help us, we'll help you. You'll help me? Mm -hmm. Really? Yeah, great. Yeah, I'll give you a call when I need to know the difference between a suplex and a pile driver. Okay. <laughs> You got a problem? No. No, I do not. And I want to be emphatic about this. Yeah! He's got a problem. He's got a big problem. You were the solution. So get lost! Take a hike, little man. 
think we might be able to work something out. Carole. What is this je ne sais quoi mean? It is uh, what we say to describe something that cannot be described. Like that special feeling between two people. Okay, um. I'm no Don Juan, but that was obviously a come on. And I knew I had to throw a sexy line right back at her. So, how do you like our school so far? That wasn't it. You told him what? That I just wanted to be friends. Every time we go out, he bails on me. I mean, I don't know. What was I supposed to do? Well, remember, guys like Tommy Dawkins don't stay single for long. This girl is gorgeous. And she's from France. Oh, well, that's nice. And what about Stacy? She said she just wanted to be friends. And you're all right with that? Of course he's all right. My boy is just playing the field. Bob. No, I, I, I think I'm OK with it. Yeah, it's OK. Oh, this cat showed up earlier today. Such a cute little thing. So does this French mademoiselle have a name, Tommy? Oh, yeah. Her name is Carol. Ooh, la, la. <laughs> but you're not giving up on those all-American cheerleading types now, are you? No, I'll never give up on the cheerleading type. <laughs> <laughs> That's my boy. I'm sure you'll figure it out, sweetie. Just make sure you don't break two hearts. <laughs> I smell a cat fight. Dean, you're not helping. No, I'm watching Jerry Springer, Mom. What's the point of not giving up on Stacy if she's already given up on me? At least Carol and I have je ne sais quoi. And I think that's good. I mean, could you do this? Can you do that? Wow, wow. Oh, holy wow. You're just like Jackie Chan. Only hotter and a female. some 20 million years ago. The Earth is a violent cauldron of bubbling gases. The first amphibious creature crawls his way out of the primordial ooze. Was it Godzilla? Yes, it was Godzilla. Yeah. Godzilla climbed out of the primordial ooze and made a beeline for Kyoto and started eating subway cars. So where are these pr prim primitive mm -hmm. beings now? Well, theoretically, they're extinct. But, you know, that's all thanks to evolution. What is that again? Oh, the process where each generation grows more intelligent and better equipped than the previous one. I always knew we had a leg up on mom and dad. <laughs> again, this is all theoretical. Travis, that means TNT Jr. are going to be smarter than we are. Yeah! <laughs> You know, about what I said the other day, I've been giving it a lot of thought. And I was thinking that, you know, if you weren't doing anything tonight, maybe you wanted to see a movie and start over? Uh, yeah, yeah, I'd love to, but I already made plans tonight. I'm, I'm meeting with my 
Biology partner. Biology. Um, okay. Maybe some other time? Yeah. Yeah, I'd like that. Yeah. Hey, Dawson's freak. We've got company. Hey, study buddy. Whoa. This place is creepy. What are you doing here? Oh, we're here for a study session, partner. Tim's still a little confused about the whole Godzilla connection. Do you want to make us some nachos? I, I, I can think on an empty stomach. Okay. <laughs> I explained this before. I do all the talking, you just stand there and nod. Whoa, you killed a guy! Okay, hands off the cranial artifacts. Whoa, you didn't tell me you were a soldier of fortune, Dingle. <laughs> My Uncle Vic could probably get you a gig when he gets off the island. Island? What island? Alcatraz! Yeehaw! Okay, Alcatraz has been closed for like 40 years. Whatever, Dingle. Uh, <laughs> who's driving the yellow pickup truck with naked lady mud flaps? That would be us. Want to go for a ride, little Dingle? Hey, it's my sister. Yeah, whatever. My dad was just wondering if you could, like, not park it on the front lawn. <laughs> Call 911. Well, they were all out of milk, but I got your milkshake instead. I hope that's okay. So, Tommy's studying biology tonight. Sure it isn't chemistry he's working on? Well, maybe I should try a little study session myself. To me, do you think it is wrong to say we have animal attraction? No, no. <clears throat> I'd say that's exactly what we have, is animal attraction. Jealousy. That'll wolf you out every time. To me? To me? Yeah. Are you listening? Yeah. Yeah, 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 you're right. That's... that's not... Yeah. lie detector. Just when I thought I was over Stacy, the wolf told me I was wrong. Dude, I need to talk to you. Yo! Merton! Where you at, man? Have a seat! What's this? Well, my, uh, study session with TNT was reduced to sock puppet theater. Yeah. Although it was nice to see that Wallace the Chimp hasn't missed a step since performing Planet of the Apes at Becky's third grade party. I just came back from the factory. Actually, I just came back from the cemetery and... Oh, yeah, I just ran into a Catwoman. No, that's not what I want to talk to you about. I actually wanted to... Uh, a Catwoman? A feline female lycanthrope? Anyways, I saw Stacy dancing with this guy, right? So... Naturally, I, I got jealous, and I, and I started to wolf out. And, and then it hit me. I'm not over Stacy yet. We interrupt the soap opera for a special bulletin about a Catwoman. Come on, Tommy. Did she have any evil characteristics? Was she a predator? Is she hot? Come on, we need a game plan. No, I, I know what I got to do now. I... Yeah, pray that the uh, feline fiend doesn't go after the good women and men of Pleasantville like so many tins of Fancy Feast. No. Jeez, Merton. I have to tell Carol that it's over. Thanks, man. Is it me, Wallace? Okay. Time to make a nice, clean break. Don't be distracted by how hot she is. Just do your thing and don't let her... Oh, Remy. I am so sorry I left early last night. Oh, no, 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 no. It, it, it's okay. It happens to me all the time, trust me. Ugh. We still have our je ne sais quoi, yes? Well, no. I'm really sorry. I, sh I should have told you this a long time ago. See, there's, there's this other girl, and I'm, I'm, I'm just not over her yet. Uh, 
but you, you know, we, we can still be friends, right? Mel. Oh, you reek. Listen, I don't know what you do in the bathroom every morning for half an hour, but it's certainly not showering. No, 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 no. It's a fish. <gasps> yeah, I'm using it as so bait. There's a cat woman on the loose in Pleasantville. A feline lycanthrope. A werecat, if you will. Um, I won't. <laughs> Golf all you want. But until we know her true intentions, no one's safe. Later, party one. Wait a minute. The only thing I'm allergic to is... Where are you going, Dangle? We've got a presentation to do. Yeah, I made charts. Godzilla. Yeah, that's, you know. <laughs> Start without me, okay? I got something I got to take care of. Just, you guys go. I'll be there for the encore. Yeah. Timothy? Oh, you started it. <laughs> One more, so a few more. Okay. <laughs> Hi, Carol. Stay away from Tommy. I really don't think that's any of your business. Well, I am making it my business. Ow! Tommy! Tommy! What? It's Carol. She is the cat woman. How do you know? Every time she's around, I sneeze. Her eyes are glowing. Oh, and this minor detail. Um, when I chased after her, she transformed into a cat. Oh, well, that's cool. Cool? No, Tommy, not cool. <laughs> Potentially deadly. According to Professor Flugelhoff, cat women are known for three things. Extreme strength, extraordinary agility, and intense jealousy. Jealousy? Major jealousy. I mean, look at Paul Schrader's disappointing 1982 remake of Cat People. What happened? Well, some say Schrader lost the true vision of the original. No, 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 no. In the movie, what happened in the movie? Well, when a cat woman was spurned by a man, she stalked his new girlfriend with unstoppable feline fury. You know what I just did? What? I told Carol that I didn't want to see her anymore because of Stacy. Yeah. yeah. using Stacy as a chew toy. <laughs> Come on, sticker boy, sticker. But I just don't hit girls. What can a little cat do? Oh. Yeah, nothing but fun. Of course, this was no ordinary girl. Diabolical shape shifting. Merton, please. To me, I, I'm mm. sorry to be jealous about Stacy. Nah, it, it, it's okay. I mean. Now I know why it would not work between us. Yeah, that's too bad, huh? I mean, 
made pretty good bio partners. <laughs> bio partners? I'm dead! That's how we evolved from meatloaf to Godzilla. <laughs> the class really seemed to enjoy Tim and Travis's bio presentation. I hope you're satisfied. <laughs> Mrs. Gristle gave him an F, but they did learn an important lesson about evolution. Survival of the fittest. Oh, yes. ah, yeah. <laughs> Kara wasn't such a bad person, but she even sent me a postcard from New York. She got an acting job in some musical about cats. I can't remember what it's called. And as for me and Stacy, well, maybe being friends isn't such a bad idea. You want to do something Friday night? Who am I kidding? Did Wiley Coyote give up that easy? 